All right, we're going to watch Critical Drinker, How to Destroy Your Own Movie. Now, I want to say up front, we don't know if this movie is going to be good or bad. Just because the main lead actress is being very smug in her talking points doesn't mean that the movie will be terrible. Remember, we've had three different Snow White versions, such as Snow White and the Huntsman. That drastically changed the Snow White story. It wasn't necessarily a bad movie because of that. You know, I don't remember seeing much of it, but I heard it was okay. And so let's see. But let's see what Critical Drinker has to say. You know, sometimes <laughs> in life you just can't catch a break, and it seems yeah. like everything you do to try to fix the situation only ends up pushing things from bad to worse to catastrophic. Like, I once saw a drunk guy stagger out of a late night takeaway with a kebab in hand, only to lose his grip on his prized lump of artery clogging saturated meat, and fumble to catch it before it fell to the ground, causing him to lose his balance and stumble face first into a plate glass window. Ooh. And thinking about that poor unfortunate drunken soul who had to retreat home with no food, a bloody nose, bruised ego, and the mocking <laughs> laughter of me and my friends ringing in his ears, I'm reminded of Snow White actress Rachel Zegler who seems to be single-handedly tanking the box office prospects of her multi-million dollar movie. Yeah. To the point where even industry experts are warning that she's rapidly turning into box office poison. Mm -hmm. See, one of the weird little side effects of the current Hollywood strikes is that there's not a whole lot of news and controversy coming out of Tinsel the internet a bit more time to reflect on other things, like past interviews on the subject of Snow White that were largely ignored at the time, but have soon come back to haunt Disney and Rachel yeah. in recent weeks. Uh -oh. And holy shit, have they provided fertile ground for backlash and mockery. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. I just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a Snow White. That's not what you're saying. Yeah. Saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be mm. if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago and therefore <laughs> it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power. I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress uh. of an iconic Disney princess. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. Oh but my god. <laughs> the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? Shite. What? Shite. Shite. <laughs> Shite. Oh my god. I didn't realize it was that bad. I didn't realize it was that bad. You, this is the very, you're, you're, you are disrespecting the very first movie that this company made that made it so legendary. Like, if you're going to adapt something, you have to respect the original or all the fans are gonna turn on you. This is, I don't know who told her to have these talking points and say it this way, but this is bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Shite. <laughs> no offense, Rachel, but you're making it pretty tough for people to like you. Now, I don't pretend to know what exactly was going on in her head when she said stuff like this. Maybe she was just a bit nervous and mm -hmm. overwhelmed by all the attention and didn't know how to respond with the kind of slick, blandly diplomatic answers that a more experienced celebrity might have given. Maybe it's because she's young and idealistic and just blurted out mm -hmm. the first thing that came into her head about the movie and the character. And so I don't really Maybe. want to dump on her too much for all this controversy. Yeah, she's definitely creating the impression of a spoiled, entitled, narcissistic actor mm -hmm. who totally doesn't appreciate the amazing opportunity she's been given. Yeah, her comments on the actor's strike were pretty poorly judged for someone getting paid more from one movie than most <laughs> actors make in their entire lives. Yeah. And yeah, the things she's saying about Snow White make it seem like the very antithesis of the animated classic that stood the test of time. To. But really, yeah. when you get right down to it, she's just another dumb actor saying what she thinks people want to hear. Mm -hmm. The bigger problem is the studio culture that someone like Ziegler represents, because you can bet your left arse cheek that most of these talking points were handed to her directly by the PR people at Disney. Yeah, mm -hmm. she might not have phrased them in the most elegant way, but the sentiment they represent is dead on brand for a company that's become the studio equivalent of a snake eating its own tail, desperately cannibalizing <laughs> their back catalogue of classic movies in an increasingly futile 
See, when it comes to their other live-action remakes of animated movies, they were generally smart enough to stay pretty quiet about the little changes they were sneaking in for modern audiences. Yeah, yeah, sometimes actors and writers would slip <laughs> up and say a bit more than they were supposed to, and things got a bit more overt with Peter Pan and the Little Mermaid. That was fun. But for the most part, they were content <laughs> to pay tribute to the originals and market the remakes as respectful adaptations. Right from the off though, That's they seem to have taken a very different approach with Snow White. <laughs> it feels like they're making a concerted effort to cast the original movie as some horribly dated relic of a bygone era that we're all supposed to look mm -hmm. back on and laugh at with the benefit of our modern enlightened hindsight. Rachel we're certainly doesn't think much of it, and neither does Gal Gadot if their interviews are anything to go by. And ironically, there's something weirdly outdated now about turning the main character mm -hmm. into this fanatically independent, power-hungry girl boss who doesn't need a man. It's the kind of talking points that were all the rage five or six years ago when this whole movement in Hollywood was still in its infancy, but that was then and this is now. The strong female lead isn't the fresh new concept it was back in 2016. In fact, even in the mainstream mm -hmm. media, there's a growing acceptance that this kind of bland, superficial archetype to the point where it's become kind of a meme in its own right. Either way though, I can't help wondering, yeah. is this really the attitude you want to display towards one of the most beloved animated movies of all time? The one that literally made Disney what it is today? Mm -hmm. Do you really want to be seen shitting on the accomplishments of previous generations when your own efforts are probably never going to reach the same heights of cultural influence? Because at a certain point, it really just comes across as a jealous, envious attempt to drag down other people's work rather than elevating your own. Own. As Mahler so aptly put it in one of his videos, this isn't a passing of the torch, it's a torching of the past. It's a deliberate attempt to rewrite history oh. and destroy the legacy of the thing you're so desperate to supplant, while conveniently forgetting that there's a reason movies like Snow White have been enjoyed by generations of audiences. The because stories they told good. are timeless and universal, <laughs> instead of trying to catch the ever-changing winds of the political and social zeitgeist. They mm. weren't written for modern audiences, they were written for every audience from the 1930s to the 2020s and that's precisely why they worked so well. And as much as you and your friends might look down on them and mock them for not aligning with whatever fads and trends happen to be the current thing, the inconvenient truth is that they'll still be remembered long after your own lesser efforts have been forgotten. You are but a passing ripple in the pond of history, whereas they are history. Exactly. Anyway, that's all I've got. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't have high hopes for the Snow White movie. Like, it might be good. Like, Greta Gerwig is attached to it. I thought the Barbie movie was good. Maybe the plot will end up being really, really smart and enjoyable. But I doubt it's going to be... I doubt it will have the spirit of the original. It might be... It might end... It might end up being a good movie in its own right. Maybe. It might end up being a terrible movie. But I highly doubt that it's going to have the spirit of the original because all the fundamental ideas have been changed and that's too bad it's too bad that we live in such a closed-minded society where you can't have multiple different stories like for all of the talk that they do about diversity and branching out and doing your own thing they seem to be pretty restrictive and exclusive and elitist about what ideas are okay to tell a story about and what topics are not okay it seems like the antithesis of cultural diversity to me. So that's all I have for today. Go away now. Check out this video right here, and I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.